stealing a fishing schooner single-handed. Damn canny, Captain. As is taking back my brig from this pillock. Once again, I thank you both. This Billy Huff didn't last two months with your ship before he came limping back to Nassau. Took the pardon straight away. I had to, lads. That Rogers was on to me from the first. Hold your tongue, Rackham. So what now? Still chasing your elusive fortune? Aye, and I'm close. I've heard the sage is sailing out of Kingston on a ship called the Princess. Put your ambition to better use, Kenway. Find the sage with us. I've no stomach for you and your mystics, Mary. I want a taste of the good life. An easy life. No one honest has an easy life, Edward. And it's aching for one that causes the most pain. All right, Rackham. Back to retirement. What news are they? This Bajan works for the Royal African Company. Tell him what you told me. I haven't seen the princess for eight weeks or more. Meaning she may soon be back. What else? I thought this buck belonged to the other men who was asking about the princess this morning. So I told him that... What other men? Haughty sailor in plain rags. And a gent with a scar just here. Where have they got to? Staying just round the corner, they said. I grow tired of chasing these fantasies of yours, Edward. As does a crew. Hang in there, man. We're getting close.
day. Oh, that makes me sick to look at them. Dad, what are you doing? <clears throat> Better to be more good than trying to oh. shut their mustard pot than you are. Stop there! Have you alerted the men? We're short on time. Aye. There'll be two soldiers waiting for us at the crossroads. Very good. If you don't mind me asking, sir, what's the meaning behind these blood samples we're taking? How do you mean, sir? If one wishes to use the observatory to, say, spy on King George, then one would require a drop of King's blood to do so. In other words, a small sample of blood gives us access to a man's everyday life. Does Torres mean to spy on me, then? For I've just given him a sample of my blood. As have I, Captain Bornigo, as will all Templars. It is a measure of insurance. And trust, I reckon. Yes, but fear not. Torres has shipped our samples to a Templar safe house in Rio de Janeiro. We will not be the observatory's first subjects, I assure you. Aye, sir. I suppose it's a small price to pay for what the Templars have given me in return. Precisely. Governor, when you hunted pirates in Madagascar, what methods worked best? I believe it was my charisma that persuaded them. Violence and threats should always be a last resort. In Madagascar, I offered those pirates a choice. 
Take a pardon and return to England penniless but free men, or be hanged by the neck until dead. Just as you did in Nassau. Precisely. A pity Commodore Chamberlain did not live to see my thorough success. <laughs> it's not like you to glow, Rogers. We all deserve a moment, don't we? Master, welcome. When I've not you, what have you learned? The princess was taken by pirates six weeks ago, and so far as we know, the sage Roberts was still aboard. Very good. There is something. And what measures are you taking to the princess from these pirates? Captain Hornigold has dispatched some of his best men to ensure the sage is captured. Mm. What of the sage's presence? Africa, Your Excellency. Africa, fine God. Which do you think? I took care of Grandmaster. I should have sailed there myself. One of my slave galleys would be more than capable of making this trip journey. Slave galley? Captain, I ask you to divest yourself of that secret situation. I failed to see the difference between enslaving some men and all men. Our aim is to steer the entire course of civilization, is it not? A body in slave inspires the mind to rebuild. But, the slave of mind's mind is body will follow. A body in slave inspires the mind to rebuild. But, the slave of mind's mind and his body will follow. Natural, efficient. A fair point, Grandmaster. Uh, remind me, where in Africa are we looking? Principe, sir, a small island. We've sent two of our best men, Burgess and Cochrane. Privateers with fast ships and firm hearts. Edward Kenway! Imagine my surprise at seeing your jackdaw anchored there. Have you heard all you came to hear? Will you now rescue the sage from our clutching hands? A pox on you, traitor! You sold us down river. Because I found a better path. The Templars know order, discipline, structure. But you never could fathom these subtleties. Goodbye, old friend. You were a soldier once, when you fought for something real. Something beyond yourself.
Didn't you want the chance? Here's to your bloody orders. Thanks. Kenway, isn't it? I'm with you. Another drip. 